In a co-working space in Sao Paulo, the economic capital of Brazil, we have a rendezvous with Jessica and her friend Rosie, a digital investigator. That's Rosie, that black screen. She downloads all the data concerning the reimbursed expenses of the members of parliament and analyzes each claim. Jessica was involved in the development of this truly unique software, a sort of lie detector for civil servants. If the expense seems strange, she flags it as suspect and that it merits investigation. For example, here I had 13 meals in different towns on the same day for this deputy. In less than a year, a thousand denunciations have been sent to Parliament. Over 100 billion euros may have been embezzled. Although Rosie has no legal weight, the information published online on social networks are a persuasive weapon and encourages some people to reimburse. Victor Lippi, for example, apologized and said that it wouldn't happen again. We hope that we will not see his name again anytime soon. The program is available to all, and for Alessandro Molon, the MP for Rio and an internet specialist, it is a salutary way for the populace to exert pressure. We need a cultural change so that the Brazilian politicians understand that the Brazilian people will be holding them to account more and more and expecting exemplary behavior from them. Although Brazil is a champion in this field, parliamentary fraud is a problem elsewhere. Felipe Cabral, Rosie's co-creator, is currently in Italy, where he hopes to revolutionize the world of European politics. The French could use it too, and in the future we'd even be able to analyze laws by cross-referencing the dates of lobbyist visits and laws passed. He's hoping, over the next three years, to turn Rosie into an infallible weapon against corruption. He needs to hurry. Brazilian politics is rife with scandal and in great need of it.